Baby, if I already ha ha your story like 47 times and I'm hearting all your little pictures and breaking my finger, like, are you picking up what I'm putting down? Because you're making, I feel desperate now. <laughs> Y'all have no game. <laughs> I swear, if he ain't picking up what you putting down, slide in his DMs. Be more direct. Anytime y'all interested in somebody, instead of being direct, what y'all do? Let me start sprinkling in some bullshit. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. He don't get the hint? Oh my God. How come you don't get the hint? Because you're not being direct. If dudes walk around sprinkling that BS that y'all be sprinkling, we would never get laid. We would be virgins. Because y'all not going to make the move. Y'all not going to make the first move. You know what's crazy, though? Even when you married, it becomes... Woo! Woo! I've been wanting to talk about this for a long time. Let me tell y'all what's going on, right? So y'all know I got the little situation going on. I've been stressed. So you know when you stress as a man, you want some... You want some coaching. You want some coaching. Ladies, there is no way you can tell me that you can't tell when your man wants some coochie. You can't tell me you don't know when your man trying to take you to Stroke City. You know what be going on in this motherfucker? My wife, and I love her to death, be knowing, but still be waiting for me to make the first move. Like, bitch, you know what it is. you gotta ask for it. I'm tired. I got some shit going on. Just. Just take me upstairs and you know what I'm saying? Violate me. Like, come on, son. Pause. Not like that. But you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Just take it. Ladies, sometimes it don't even have to be no big thing. Just throw the spark. You see me walking around? Hold me and kiss me. Wait for me after I come out the shower. You know, kiss me after I come out the shower. Just, just start the spark. I'll finish it. You know what she gonna do? Instead of sparking it off, she gonna throw the moo moo on. She gonna throw the moo moo on. Y'all know about the moo moo. You know, I hate when women say, oh, my last nigga used to take me out on five star dates and, and, uh, Facts. uh, buy me all type of Facts. Uh, designer bags and designer shoes and take me out on big trips and, and pay all my bills and give me money. Why you don't go back to that? Why uh, y'all broke up? Why you don't go back to that? Go back to that, bro. You dating a whole new explain what your life is. obviously mm -hmm. you still miss that go back to that because it's a new game you gotta why y'all broke up in the first place if he was so perfect why y'all broke up let me tell you what they be doing sir let me tell you what they be doing it's the reverse psychology they figure all right i'm gonna manipulate the hell out this man to do what i want now not all of y'all but i mean everybody comes in a relationship with some form of manipulation you know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't themselves at the beginning. Let's be honest. Everybody ain't themselves at the beginning. You feel me? That's all it is. It's reverse psychology. I'm going to tell him all these unnecessary things that my ex-man used to do so he feel the need to be better than my ex-man. Do not fall for the buffoonery. Let's start over from the bottom. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Women don't date to start over fresh. They date to pick up where they left off. That's not how the game <laughs> goes. My goodness, bro. And that's why a lot of women be sad, like, oh, my God, like, I got to work. Yes, bitch, it's a new relationship. I have a job. You go get a job. This is the same <laughs> that you used to date. It's like, what the f*** is wrong with you? <laughs> Shit, bro. What the f***? Here's a crazy part though, right? She gonna come in the relationship talking all that buffoonery. But then on the internet, she gonna be sending shots at her ex-man like, oh, my God. I can finally be myself. I'm finally free. She gonna be on the internet hinting to her ex-man how great you are, but she in the crib, in the relationship, talking about, you know, Donovan used to be do this, and Donovan used to do that. And, bitch, go back to Donovan. And I just randomly pull a name Donovan. I don't, bro. I don't know where I got the name Donovan from. The craziest thing. So I'm talking to this guy, right? And he tells me that he's going out and he asks me what I'm doing, what I'm doing. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like he must really like me because he keeps asking me what I'm doing. And he said he was going out tonight with his friends. So I was like, oh, well, I'm going to do my own thing. Like, yeah, I'm going out tonight. So, you know, I pull up to this spot. I decide, okay, I, I am going to actually go get something to eat. But I didn't tell him that. And so I decided to pull up to the spot that him and I've been to before. And because Can't like, be they had such good drinks and really cheap pricing blah 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 and i pull up to the spot and i see a car that looks just like his car and i'm like you know you know like he's just you know, his car you know it's, it's no big deal it's not his car no hey hold shout out to women that are just naturally beautiful can we can we just 
I have a round of applause for the women that are just naturally beautiful. You know, I'm one of those guys that I believe you don't need makeup, and she does not need makeup. I, I applaud you, man. Don't look inside of it either, right? And so I go inside, and lo and behold, he's sitting there with another female. I mean, I forgot to add this part. Them eyebrows is eyebrowing. I see you, I see you, sister. But now, to your point, to your point, y'all are just talking. Y'all are just talking. Now, keep it a hundred. You can't tell me that you are not on your Coach Carter. You can't tell me that there's not a team of guys that you keeping at bay just in case this guy, which I think you really like, messes up. So now he messed up, somebody else is stepping up from the G League. And sometimes y'all be taking it wrong. Having a team of dudes does not mean that you every one of them that's not what that means that just means that you have candidates maybe i should say that you have candidates you have potential and you make sure you give your potentials just enough energy so they'll stay around and then once this guy you know steps up a little bit more or you move him up a little bit more in the rankings you push your potentials further back i still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button go ahead and follow me on instagram and make sure you got the notification bell selected to all that way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. You think you're going to it? <clears throat> the man that I was with for about four years, have a one year old with and a three month old with, is now married. You do the math. You think well, hold on now. I ain't, I ain't good at math. Math wasn't my favorite subject in school. But, um, the man I was with for four years have a. Ooh, I be feeling real bad when women end up having kids and then the dude they end up having the kids for do them dirty. I'm going to share a situation with y'all at the end of the video. I'm going to tell y'all a story. But what the hell going on here? Dad! Dad! My fault, y'all. My family up there gossiping. Damn, my phone on 1%. He up there gossiping. I can hear all the business. Whoever business they talking about, I can hear all of that up here. Him and my aunt gossiping upstairs. Hello? Dad, you know I can hear you gossiping through my video? I know. I can hear all the business y'all talking about. Yeah, the door closed. You you just loud. I know. <laughs> it's not it's not it's not right. Go okay, blame it on the house. I got you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, Dad. Tell Auntie BB I said hi. Alright. Yeah. Up there just gossiping. <laughs> I gotta talk about this because this irritated me. I just saw a post <laughs> where a lady was talking about how she found her soulmate, how her husband just worked overnight, like a really long shift, and he came home and, you know, he was like, hey, um, I'm really tired. I'm going to order some food. She said, no, I'm okay. Me and the baby already ate. And then he was like, okay. So he ordered food, and when the food came from DoorDash, um, Wait. she opened it, and she... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this where you... Oh, okay, I'm, I can read it. This is exactly where she's going. Why is your man coming home from a 12-hour shift and there's no food ready? Why does he have to order food? Now, I'm not going to... Let me not act high and mighty because, you know, at one point, me and my wife had to have this conversation. We just had to have that conversation. I'm like, yo, why am I coming home and, like, there's no food? I ain't going to say to her defense because we married. I'm paying bills. There's really no her defense in that situation. But she do run a business, okay? And majority of the day she spent trying to figure out things for her business. And she lose track of time. This is facts. But at the same time, this is borderline of business also. And I don't want to go into our personal business, but I feel as though I take care of everything that I take care of. This the one thing that I want. Because I be tired. For those of y'all who know what I do at work, my, my regular 9 to 5, I be tired as hell, dog. So me coming home, at least... Food. Another thing we had to. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to overtalk the video. I'm. I, we gonna talk about it later. Smelled it and she immediately wanted to eat. 
and out the bag he pulls out a burrito for her like he already had ordered her food so it made her emotional whatever and she's like i found my soulmate what bothers me about that is you were you know your husband just worked an over od shift you ate but you didn't have no food ready for him when he got home speak that gospel and you talking about oh he thought about me why didn't you think about him speak that gospel speak that gospel i can't with these women nowadays bro I cannot. You're telling me that you're okay with this man. So another thing besides the food that we had to speak on is her attitude. Sometimes I'll come in the crib, bro. I'll be stressed out from work. And immediately when I get in the house, like, I could just feel her energy. So I'm already being weighed down by the energy coming from work. You know what I'm saying? And I drive damn near an hour and a half to get to work, bro. You feel me? Well, to come back from work because of traffic and stuff like that. I, dude, I did 12 hours, then I did an hour and a half on the road, then I get in the house, and instead of being greeted with open arms, you know what I'm saying? I'm greeted with, like, just this, this... <sighs> so now I'm like, yo, what's wrong? What's going on? What's up? Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. It's not you. Yeah, but it's not me, but I feel that. I feel that coming from you. What's up? Talk to me. That's the recent thing we had a conversation about. Honestly, if you get anything from me when it comes to being married, communication. Now, I'm not the best communicator, but communication is key. Me, personally, I don't like to argue. And really, bro, I don't be liking to, to talk about certain things because I feel as though certain things should just be common sense. And maybe that's my problem. You know, everybody can't read your mind. I don't know, sis, but I'm telling you right now, there is a difference. Damn, they cut your water off. Man, that's crazy how much the bill was. You gonna be able to pay it? <laughs> Alright, I'm about to go get my key out of storage. I'm about to cut it back on. Are you cooked tonight? You gonna save me a plate? Oh yeah, you cooked tonight? Well, let me know how much you spent on groceries. I'm about to send it to you, alright? Oh, come on, man. You know I got you. Listen, all I'm gonna say is choose wisely. You want daddy or you want baby? I mean, she do have a point. But it depends. Think about it, right? You have certain young men, such as myself. We work in the manufacturing field. We work with our hands. We're really good with our hands. So we already automatically know how to fix some shit. I feel as though based on who I am and who I was, because I'm, I'm getting a little bit older, if I was to become that old head that's knocking the bottom of your, your swimming pool loose, I'm going to be an exceptional old head because I already know how to fix shit. It's a lot of dudes out here right now that don't know how to change the oil in their car. It's a lot of dudes out here right now that don't know how to change the thermostat in their car. How to change the toilet. I know how to change the toilet. Let me tell you. You know what? Now that I think about it, I deserve more pussy around this motherfucker. My phone on 1%, but I want her to know. I deserve more. She out here talking about old heads doing that. I'm young and I'm I'm doing all that. Yeah, when it's time for her to answer, she don't answer. I could do all that. Put up a closet door. So I have a problem. I need somebody, please, to tell me how I fix this. So I got this jeep she, because I like jeeps. Big Everybody as hell. has a jeep, so I wanted a jeep. Okay, but there is a problem here. I'm 6 a and I don't feel on the driver's seat. I knew she was big <laughs> as hell, dog. Can you stop laughing? My short kings. My short kings. I want you to know right now that if you are able to climb this tree, matter of fact, this ain't even a tree. A tree is too small. I apologize. This skyscraper of a woman, you have reached maximum level. At the end of the day, we all the same size laying down. Now I be, mm, I can't, I can't really say what I'm thinking on YouTube because I, I don't want, I don't want them problems. But I have been with tall women before, and I'm telling you right now, it don't matter. It don't matter. Now six, she's six seven, six seven. You know what I'm saying? Six seven, different. Six seven. I don't know, boy. The bottom might be a little further. I wonder if the same rules apply. You know what I'm saying? Because the joints I took down, shorty, she was like 5'10". You feel me? Like 5'10", 5'11". Now, that's that's saying a lot. I'm 5'6". You feel me? I'm 5'6". So, that's saying a lot. 5'7 on a good day. Yeah. If you under 6 feet and you take down a female like this that's like 6'7", 6 6'6", 6 6, you feel me? You're a legend. Bro, that means you giving out Hall of Fame wood. And when I say take down, I don't mean you, you know what I'm saying, you you just put it in. I'm talking about she grabbing the sheets, biting her lips, you know, 
convulsions. You feel what I'm saying? She give you that look after the whole session is done. Because it's a look. It's a look that the ladies would give you when you did something right. I can't give you the look because, you know what I mean? I shouldn't be giving you the look. But it's a look that they're going to give you. That let you know you came, you saw, and you conquered. Now, if you under six foot and you taking down stallions, my boy, you are the hero in every Western movie, my boy. <laughs> you fucking Billy the Kid, dog. Fastest gun in the West. I'm sorry. <laughs> Most accurate gun in the West. Before I moved to this country, I lived with my mother and her boyfriend. Now, I'm going to keep it 100. My mother wasn't the brightest star in the sky. You know, she dropped out of school in, like, second grade. But even with that limited education, my mother always had a good heart. She was a good person. And because she was such a good person, people always just take advantage of her. And her boyfriend was no exception. So when I was living with them, I had to have been seven or eight years old. And this solidified in me that a lot of you don't deserve good women just remember that the whole preaching about being submissive my mother was as submissive as it came her boyfriend used to go out and fish that's how he bought money in for the house he went out and fish and my mother stayed home she cooked she cleaned took care of everything everything you feel me this man would bring his friends over there my mother would cook food for everybody make sure they have food to eat it's been times where he he got injured on the boat. My mother would nurse his wounds, rub his back. You know, she didn't talk back. That's that's another thing too. I can honestly say because she she didn't argue. She. Never argued with this man. You know, whatever he said. Whatever he said, go. I don't know what transpired. I can't tell you where it went wrong. I can't tell you. The money started becoming scarce. And when I say the money was becoming scarce, it got to a point where we used to have to eat stale bread. We used to eat stale bread, bro. I'm talking about bread that have mold on it. That's just been sitting there for weeks. Because this man would claim, yo, it's slow right now. But we're not catching no fish. Right? So it started like that. It went from that to sometimes he would spend one night away and his excuses, oh, I had to stay on the boat. And eventually he got so comfortable, those one nights became days. Them days, I think the longest he spent was like a week. Honestly, no, right before I came to the country, bro. He, he would literally just come home to change his clothes and leave. As an adult, I'm thinking back to a situation that, now that I've, you know, I wrapped my mind around it, is very embarrassing. He hadn't been home for like two days or something like that. My mother had a, a feeling where he might be at. He always used to hang out at this bar, okay? And at the time, she suspected... And the family suspected that he was cheating. And they suspected that he was cheating with a lady in the neighborhood. The lady, the lady actually lived by the bar. So we ain't had nothing to eat. We ain't had nothing to eat in the house. And she was like, yo, just go down there and ask him for like $10 so we can get something to eat. Or walk down to the bar by myself. Mind you, I'm like seven years old, bro. Walk down the hill. Walk down the other hill. Now, if you... A Grenadian, then you know about Grand Mall. You know Grand Mall, St. George's. That's where I lived. I lived in Grand Mall. Walked down all of that, got to the bar. I'm asking around for him. I'm not going to say his name, you know what I'm saying? Because Grenada is a small place, and I'm pretty sure somebody know who he is. So, I'm asking around for him, and then I found him. I found him. And when I found him, he was there with his other thing. He was there with his other woman. So me being seven, had a feeling I knew what was going on. I had, I kind of didn't know what was going on. You know, I was like in between. Went over there and asked him for the $10. He looked at me, drank his beer, 
looked at me again and took the money out of his pocket. Now, I want y'all to understand something, right? We ain't have shit to eat in the house because this man said that it's been slow. Fishing been slow. Nothing coming in. Bro, the amount of money he pulled out of his pocket to give me that $10 was crazy. He pulled out a wad of cash just to give me $10. Took the $10, I went back home. As the months went by, you know, the whole thing just started getting worse. And I was actually preparing to come up here because my father had already sent for me. So, it's official that he got another woman. You know, my mother know he have another woman. And, you know, she's trying to stick it out. The rest of the family know he got another woman. You know, it is what it is. She She's living in the embarrassment. The community knew what was going on. It gets crazier than this. This man decides to build a house for his other woman. Now, where we lived at, we lived on the hill. And we actually saw the house being built. You know, my mother was an ugly. When we used to walk into town, all them dudes, they used to be on her. She had she had the big butt, bro. You know what I'm saying? She had a nice body. So all the all the guys was on her. They wanted her bad. She ain't cheap. She she was respectful. She she wasn't flirting with nobody. Her main objective used to be Making sure that this man was comfortable. And look what he did to her. He damn near had her starving in the house. He had another woman. He built that house for the other woman. And then just started spending all his time in that house. So when y'all boys be out here talking about y'all want submissive women. And, and all these females need to be more submissive. I want you to think about that. It's a dude walking around here that don't deserve that. I'm not saying that's you. But it's a lot of dudes out here that will get that and take advantage of it. And that was a prime example. He didn't, to be honest with you, he didn't even earn that shit. He didn't earn it. You feel what I'm saying? He didn't earn the treatment that she was giving him. That was just instilled in her. That's who she was. He had that and took advantage of it. The last I heard, though, him and old girl end up having a child. And she left and went to Canada and left him to take care of the child. I don't know how he doing now, but, you know, karma usually get people.